I'm at Celtic um, Cabin, and I'm going to show you how to turn the TV on. Uh, all the TVs in the house should work about the same way. Um, basically, you'll have a cable remote. The, the living room just has a cable and TV remote in one. I think the other rooms have uh, maybe a TV remote for the power and volume and stuff, and then a cable remote. Basically, um, <clears throat> you want to make sure... Well, when you get here, all you should have to do is hit the power button. Um, and the TV should come on. There you go. But if you get here and it doesn't turn on, there's a few things that you want to check. Um, first of all, you want to make sure that there's, uh, this display right here is lit up, the Motorola box. Um, the power button is right here. And if you can see that. Let's see. There you go. Um, yeah, just make sure the power's on. Um, this is what it looks like with the power off. And that power on. Um, so if the power is off, then with this remote in the living room, you want to push the cable button and then the power button. Cable selects the device. Well, all, all these buttons select the device, and then the uh, power button turns it on or off. So, also, you know, um, like for TV, uh, to be able to turn on the TV, you need to push TV first, and then power. <clears throat> and, uh, and then you should be able to just hit guide. And then use the arrow keys to select what you want to watch with the enter being the center button. That's really all there is to it. Um, and when you want to turn off the TV, you just hit power. Um, and you shouldn't actually need to hit the cable button again. I think you just need to do that to turn it on and off. Um, so there you have it. Another another thing that could be an issue, uh, the DVD player could be selected. If that's the case, you'll have to hit uh, TV VCR. See, that there's a video channel. You just have to keep hitting TV VCR until you see the cable TV come up. There it is. Um, of course, with the power on to the box there. That's it. <clears throat> I'm here in here in the bedroom, uh, one of the bedrooms, and uh, thought it would be good to note something. This uh, is the TV remote here. Let me turn off the brightness here. Oh, there we go. So, a little black one, and you may have some kind of universal one. When you see this video, they get they tend to get lost. Um, but here's the charter remote is the cable remote. Uh, <clears throat> what can happen in this situation is the uh, with the TV remote, the wrong channel might be selected on the TV. So, see, there's there's no uh, picture, but the um, power is on. So. You know, if you try the input on this remote, the input button's right here. It's uh, the input button instead of TV slash VCR that you use. Um, let's see. This is kind of horrible. I'm trying to get to focus so you can see the input button. Anyways, it's the top left corner right there. There it is. Uh, right there. Um, anyway, uh, the, uh, TV using the TV remote, let's see, I'll just do this. So I'm pushing right now, I'm pushing input. So it's supposed to be on TV, which is the top one that you can't see, um, in order to come on. See, I'm cycling through all these and nothing's happening. Supposed to be on TV, though. 
and um, and on this remote you it's supposed to be on channel three so just type in zero three and then it should come up 